I'm Danny. Welcome to the workshop. There are two ways to have the Certified SOLIDWORKS Associate sample exam. One is directly through the test client. If it's not available there, then follow the link in the description of this video. It will take you to the official page for the exam where you can find information for the real exam, how long it is, what is the minimum passing grade, what could be included, and also you have the option here to take the exam. If you click this, it will add the exam to your cart. You can buy it. And the other link is actually the sample exam. If you download the one from the website, you will either have only PDF with information for the exam, if it's other than this one, or in this case, a zip file, which contains some of the files which you will need for the sample exam and also PDF with the exam itself. Certified SOLIDWORKS Associate Sample Exam Question 1. To create Drawing View B, it is necessary to sketch as plan as shown on Drawing View A and insert which SOLIDWORKS view type. As options, we have section, crop, projected, isometric. Sometimes it's hard to understand the questions that are in the exam. This is pretty straightforward. We should have a look on our image. In A, you will have just an image. I'm in the drawings at the moment. I have built the model so I can show you better the different things that are happening with this model. And we have this spline. So we should use some of these uh, four view types to create the result in B. Don't be confused because of the color. All we are interested is in the resulting view. The hint from SOLIDWORKS for this part of the exam is if you are not sure, you can check directly in so SOLIDWORKS when pointing out the different views. You will have a short description and images what are the results they give. In this particular question, the answer is crop because there are only two views that are using spline as a base. And these are crop view and broken out section. But broken out section is giving completely different result. So let's go through the different view types. So the first one, A, is section. We are pointing on section view and we see that it adds a section view, a lined section view or half section view by cutting the parent view with a section line. In view B, we don't have a section line and actually we don't have any section, so it's not possible to be this view. I will add a section view just to see what is the result of this product. Oh, I will delete it. The next is, as I said, this is the crop view. When we point the crop view, it says that it crops an existing view to show only a portion of the view. And this is exactly what B is. We take the spline and hit crop view and we receive exactly the result that we have in B, just without the colors. But the colors, as I said, are not important. The thing that is important is the view. Now I will remove our crop view so we can go through the other two. C as answer is projected view. This view type is projecting axillary based on our current view. So if I try to make a projection view or projected, you will see it's giving different projection of the views view that I have at the moment. And the last is actually isometric view. This is a bit tricky because isometric view is not something you have in the menu here top. This is a base view of the model. So we have front, top, left, back, isometric, trimetric, and dimetric views. So A is isometric view, but B is crop view. So be careful not to mistake what is the assignment and what is the question about? Because here you can be confused and choose isometric and that's wrong. A is isometric view with spline inside it, but the result in B is a crop view. 
If you have some more questions related to this question one, please write them down in the comment section of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!